I don't like that at all. <laughs> if if I say that I'm going to watch a TikTok, that doesn't mean immediately remove your headphones, Three, two, get up, one. and grab your phone to watch TikToks as well. That's annoying. Um, if you're watching this, you just been proposed to. <laughs> yeah, yes, you have. You just got proposed <laughs> to. Um, every part, every person got proposed to. <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> Wait, do your best. Will you marry me? To you? To anybody or to the audience. So, pretty much David Fraley. <laughs> You're proposing to David Fraley. If tomorrow I died, I'd be okay with it because I'm so in love with you. Will you marry me? How's that? <laughs> so, love has blinded you? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now my I'm so in love with you. Are we even seeing that guy? Saturday? I just love you so much. And I found my forever happiness with you. Will you marry me? That was good. Dude, hey, I'm I'm tearing up right now. They're both pretty bad. I don't know. (laughs) I'm tearing I'm tearing up right now. I don't think I could be an actor. No, I could. I'm not adding to that. We're just going to move on. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm a fat- fantastic actor. I'll release this because um, the party is at 6 o'clock I on Saturday. So I if, I, I um, talk. if I release it at 630, <laughs> then there's no way we can. Um... That's the location. Whoa. Here's the funny thing. Let's mm-hmm. say we show up to this party. She said no. <laughs> then we forever have this. That yeah. would be good. That'd be nuts. Uh, <laughs> Today yeah. is uh, a little context. Today's Thursday. Yeah, today's Our Thursday. Our friend is proposing to his girlfriend on Saturday, mm-hmm. which the day this podcast goes up. Hopefully, yes. we don't blow the lid beforehand. <laughs> or we do, which would be really funny, because what if this has to get delayed? <laughs> like, he can't propose on Saturday, so he has to propose a different day. And then, we, because we're not going to record another podcast. No, we're forcing his hand. Also, yeah. if we release this podcast mm-hmm. today off Thursday... Yes. It wouldn't be blown because <laughs> nobody would watch it. Yeah, true. Who's going to... I mean, I think that they're subscribed, though. So what? We're going to say, Sabrina, you are now proposed to <laughs> yeah. on Saturday. Now you just doxed her, bro. You, her first name? So so love is behind you. <laughs> oh, man. I um, Are you running into that David Fraley guy this weekend? No. No. <laughs> no? Of course not. Of course why would, not. Why would we? I don't know. That guy's not going to leave his house. Come on, no. He's, he's got too much commenting on our, on our videos to do. That's true. That does take <laughs> up most, It takes up most of his time. How long uh, until you propose to a girl when you have, when you've been dating her? Next a couple weeks. A couple weeks? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. I. Do you think that I could make it past a couple weeks? I actually could. If you dated a girl, she agreed. You guys had consistent sex, and you guys have been dating for two weeks. Mm-hmm. I could see you proposing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care. Yeah, I would. I it it would take so little for me to propose to a girl. Yeah, I know, <laughs> dude. I'll propose to a girl that I'm not even dating. Yeah, and it'll be serious. Mm, like, yeah, it, I could see like, that. like if I if I found a girl like very attractive, like. And I just like proposed to her, and then she said yes. I'd plan the entire wedding. People are telling me to propose. Who? Every now and then, people bring it up. Like, oh, <laughs> don't try to just throw yourself into things. That's true. Don't, quit trying to lump yourself in. That's true. You're the type of guy. My grandpa just told me. <laughs> yeah, but that guy also thinks that people cut holes. <laughs> There's like gnomes that come into his house and cut holes in his underwear. How else do they get there? <laughs> I don't know how they get there. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. You're taking that guy's word? Uh, I was sitting like this. Like, I was like this. Yeah. My legs were, like, up you like always, this. You always sit like an e-girl, yes. No, but, like, they were really up like this, right? <laughs> yeah, balls and taint out. And my grandpa was like, don't sit like that. You'll get corona that way. <laughs> 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 about, did you know that there's, there's a theory out there that... Um, like the poop particles from flushing the toilet can give you coronavirus. Mm-hmm. That's how my grandpa caught it. <laughs> you know, did he have it? No, he didn't have it. Uh, he's very nervous. He's very. He's he? being very safe. Is he? Yeah. He. We. We saw him on Father's Day. Mm-hmm. He's six What's six feet the entire time away from everybody. Mm-mm, not your. Not your hand. Well, she got close. She got a picture. Yeah. Yeah. What can you do? That was cool. 
But um, he really uh, he tried his best. <laughs> that guy, that guy, I've never we, met. We had never seen him for I, a long time. I, I have not talked to that guy. No, all. no. Why not? I don't know. He's cool. I very, you know, I can't remember ever running into him. The only things that I know about him are the stories that you tell me about. Yeah, him. he's pretty fun. <laughs> he's really goofy yeah. from the sounds of it. He's a fun guy. Uh, him and he's your really mom. Sharp. He's still there. <laughs> Is he? Well, comparatively to my like, other grandpa, yeah. <coughs> you yeah. throw balls at him ever, like, just to keep his agility up? Yeah. That's, he used if, to be a boxer. If I had an old person in my life, that's what I would do. He told me he he feels 50. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would hate to feel he's a, 50. He's 87. <laughs> that's pretty good, though. Yeah. He's a strategy. Every time, um, you know the story that uh, I have a f- friend who her mom is like a family friend mm-hmm. and he's just super attracted to her whenever yeah, she yeah. comes by he just try he always calls her Susie Susie her name is Susie but Susie. the way he, and he's just enamored by her he wants yeah. to be in love with her and does he love her uh, she well he was a, he, he was a ladies man right oh yeah that man fucked he has I have an aunt who's like four years older than me really yeah that's dope mm-hmm. that man your grandpa lays the pipe huh mm-hmm. That's so sick. Yeah. Oh I'm, yeah, you have a hot aunt. Um, <laughs> she's fucking. Anyways, <laughs> mint, eh? Anyways, let's continue. <laughs> let's move on. What do you think about her? She's fucking hot. <laughs> um, I I tweeted at one of my World of Warcraft buddies, uh, and I I was really mad that it got no love because. And I really like calling family members like fucking sexy or fucking hot <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. But uh, he tweeted, actually nothing worse than when relatives come to visit. I said, yeah, I hate when my when I got to share my bed with my aunt, uncle, and my hot ass cousin. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. That shit sucks. I hate it when they come visit. <laughs> the idea of having your aunt, uncle, and your cousin just sleeping all in the same bed with you. That's what happened. Um <laughs> I In, said, no, so for my old roommate. Yeah, this he, is really good. He just one day he was like, "Hey, so um, my aunt, my uncle, my grandma, and my mom are coming to live with us. Um, they're gonna need your room, so you gotta get out of here." <laughs> <laughs> Which is so goofy. Um, what you should have done is been like, "That's fine," and taken your bed <laughs> out of the room <laughs> because, like. What what is that? Like did they did they want to use your bed? I have no idea. He wanted them to use your bed. A bed that you religiously masturbate on. on. Mm -hmm. Yes. And no condom. No condom. That cum goes everywhere. Mm -hmm. And you come a a not as much as me, but you come a good amount. Yes, I do. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Like enough to impregnate your your bed. We haven't had a good old masturbation talk in a long time. No, not in a long, long time. It's just I'm trying to avoid other talks. Like what? (laughs) Yeah, <laughs> nothing. Okay. And, uh, but, yeah, I've been trying to also keep away from masturbation talks because it's not a good time for me. <laughs> this is this is not a good era to live in for me. Oh, what do you me. mean? <laughs> Why is that? Because I don't want to get me too, dude. Yeah. Do you have stuff? Huh? No. No. Okay. But it's just like, I don't, I mean, here's the thing. I, if I see a hot girl. Yeah. And they get within four <laughs> feet of me. I'm going to blow a load. Yep. <laughs> and mm-hmm. it's not my fault. Speaking of uh, Me Too people, the Chris D'Elia stuff, it's pretty much done now. Yeah. It's like everything is said. And it's certain. He has it's pretty certain. He has said some rebuttals, I guess. Has he? He has like, the e- there are certain emails that when the girls are 17, some of them had lied about their age. And some of them are misconstrued in the information. Um, so he has rebuttaled some of them. But there's so much overwhelmingly, like, negative stuff. Did you, that did you I, see the one where he actually had intercourse with one of them? And he can, and it was, somebody posted on Reddit and said, a comedian. Didn't ever so name that, him by that name that was like, afterwards. Yeah, I saw that Reddit post that was like, it was it was just yes. like an anonymous. Yes. And then. It basically, this girl, like, got raped when she was in her age by yes. a comedian. And people inferred that it was Crystal. No, I'm pretty sure that she came out and said that it was her. It could have been. That's what. Uh, and it was. It, it posted like three years ago, so that's possible. And throughout I'm, I'm it, a, I'm on the. Uh, I'm on the side of like Crystal. Lee. It was definitely like was yeah. it, is a predator. But this one was weird because continuously while they were doing it, he was like, "Oh, 
this is such good you're, high you're, school you're pussy. You're so hot that you're fucking so young. It's, it's very specific. It's, it, it's so weird because, like, Dave Chappelle has a joke about this. Yeah. A very famous joke about R. Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> and his sexual intercourse, where 20-something times or something like that. You're talking about how old is 15, really? <laughs> no. Which one? The, like, the court. Yeah. They... They have a sex tape of R. Kelly with an underage woman. Yeah. And he's like, oh, this 15-year-old pussy is so good and shit. Yeah. And Dave Chappelle goes, you know, that's the last thing you could say. <laughs> he was like, this was the worst sex tape ever that it incriminated him without even having to watch it. <laughs> they just took the transcripts. I, I, haven't seen, I haven't seen that joke in a long time. I don't know that one. <laughs> yeah. He pretty much just was like, this is the only sex tape that you didn't have to watch. You just read the transcripts and he was guilty. He said on 27 until way later he said on 27 different occasions <laughs> this woman's age he was like if i was doing it i'd be like oh this is some good 36 year old pussy <laughs> but we all know that's not a real thing <laughs> yeah uh so it's very um it's it's most likely that he just did everything yes and which uh, is v- fucking sucks yeah it's crazy um, very lame every time i watch it nowadays because i just I, it was it's just so sad it's just upsetting because yeah. i like the guy and yes. you know it's always shitty when you hear that like a thousand women all just more just got raped like yeah. it's just always just more I, it just keeps happening it's um i can't talk <laughs> <laughs> the, the brian Callen and <laughs> i'm mad <laughs> i'm mad <laughs> i'm ashamed I can't talk as you should as you should <laughs> uh but i just keep watching podcasts like hoping that they're gonna talk more like i'm gonna find out more information Dude. like other com- but no comedians i just like i keep thinking like oh that maybe I but what else do, what else is there to know they they all everybody has said everything it's yeah. it and it's over oh man andrew schultz uh texted chris really yeah he was like hey man what the fuck is up with all this shit and Chris is like, I'm actually gonna do a rebuttal soon. I'm gonna make gonna make a video. I got emails, and he was like, What about this one? What about this one? And Chris is like, This this is what happened here. This is what happened here. And like he was like, Hey, what about this one where you mess with the girl and she's clearly in high school, like with photos of her like on the school bus? And no no reply to that one. <laughs> so uh, that's oh, man. Andrew Schultz is like. I don't know what's taking him so long to get like this shit out, but he's got to. He's better hurry. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's getting worse and worse by the day. What if this guy just escapes? What if he just goes to Africa? <laughs> like, what he if pulls he, a Dave Chappelle? Yeah, he just pulls a full on Dave Chappelle. But rather than like getting offered a lot of money and not wanting to deal with the stress of doing the Chappelle yeah, show, he leaves because he raped a bunch of underage women. That's the Roman Polanski move. <laughs> yeah. Roman Polanski director. It. It's the. He he's the one who had sex with the underage girls that Quentin Tarantino yeah, called party but girls. But they're party girls. They're just party girls. Yeah. You don't get it. You these would, girls come to parties. They you know what they're party. about. You would understand if you went to these parties. <laughs> <laughs> it it's so fucked how Hollywood is. Because and I guess Twitch streamers. As oh, well. Twitch streamers. Yeah, we'll get to that. But there's also like I guess this like guy who's I don't know produced um, like a bunch of uh, I hope one day the X Men movie. Oh, Brian, Brian Singer. Brian Singer. I hope and, one day that uh, it's we don't. This is the. It's not cut to this clip, and it's one of us is just like child molester, <laughs> just the same way Chris Lee. I Leon. mean, I hope that doesn't happen to either of us. Yeah, I hope. I hope not. <laughs> I mean, I can say for <clears throat> certain. I hope not. <laughs> don't look at me. I may have a child molester face, but I'm anti-child molestation. I just hope that this doesn't happen to either one uh, of us. The the Crystalia thing too is so fucked because like pedophilia, right? Fucked. Like he, that person's got a fucking it's mental pedophilia. <laughs> he's got a m- mental disorder, right? Because he's attracted to the little girls. Yeah. But like, hey, Chris, you think that seventeen-year-old girl is hot? Go to this nineteen-year-old girl. Twenty, yeah, like twenty-one. Like just, just go to a. If you want, I at yeah, least a few he, years older. I guess, he, like they're right there. They're not quite. Here's the thing: when you graduate high school, they don't just like hit you with an ugly shovel and just like beat the. Like they don't. They don't go. Hey, here's a meth rock. Smoke this meth, and you're going to lose your teeth and look like a fat, yeah, ugly bitch. He after literally high like the Those, twenty twenty-one-year-olds. Aren't that 
Yeah. Um, you know what's you know what's fucking weird reading all these fucking reports is so many times I read that Chris Del- or Chris D'Elia has made it very apparent that he's never done any drugs, never sipped any alcohol. But mm-hmm. I always hear about um, when he like takes these girls. He always buys them drinks and continues to get like give them drinks. I've heard that like you haven't even watched you. Oh yeah, no, I haven't. It's so crazy because this is what he does in the show. In the show, he like puts the shit in their fucking drink. These are all accusations, at least that I keep reading. Yeah. So like, no, I don't know what's been proved and what hasn't been, but there's like many times where he just takes these girls and he keeps buying them drinks, and Chris doesn't drink at all. Yeah. The whole time. And then, and these girls are sixteen. <laughs> like he's some of them, yeah. Like he's feeding these girls yeah. like drugs and alcohol. Yeah, allegedly the, the drugs. I don't, I don't or, know about that. Or like he's putting in their fucking, I don't know, Capri Sun. Yeah, like, I guess like so. Is he is he lacing the fucking mm-hmm. straw with some fucking like, I don't know, whatever pat makes you pass out. Um. It's oh my god. Yeah, it's so weird because I've never, I've never once been scared I was gonna get raped in my entire life, and girls <laughs> yeah. get that all the time. Literally, like they they can't go to a convenience store. Yeah, I know it's crazy. <laughs> when I go out and I like put gas in my car, yeah, it doesn't matter what time of day it is mm-hmm. or night. Mm-hmm. I feel all right. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Girls can't even do that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like they can't it's even like... go for jogs and. <sighs> uh, yeah, it's it's fucking it's disgusting. It's di- disgusting what these guys do. Literally, this is a comedy podcast. Yeah, or attempt to be. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah I know. How do we transition out of into the Twitch rapist? Uh, well, we talk about the Twitch rapist. <laughs> uh, so, who is this guy? What's his name? His name is Method Josh. He uh, so Method is this like big organization. Not that big outside of World his War. His name Co- is Method Josh. So his like his his whole branding was off of being in Method. Okay. He wasn't big until he joined the guild. So he was strictly like Had just I a heard good of this ro- guy before. I think I brought him up being on the Raj show because he was on the Raj show quite a bit for a while. So the Raj show we've talked about a lot. It's just like a dating and slash podcast show on Twitch, and. uh he he originally just started off as being a really good World of Warcraft player, world fit first like uh, player, and just very good at the game. Also, thing that like goes back before he even became like big on this and like became big because of his like streaming and shit. There was photos released like the discords and stuff of him just wearing like full blackface and like wearing like a gangster get up. Yep. So this guy also a known racist, mm-hmm. like just a terrible person in general. He uh and was always the persona that he played on Twitch was this incel persona which just isn't a persona. <laughs> like the guy was just like Oh, he's just an incel. I mean kind of. I yeah. mean at some point he just started uh, so, raping girls. Yeah. <laughs> so he's Well, don't spoil the story. We have to build that up. (laughs) Yeah, I got to build it up. I'm not good. You know I love spoilers. You know that I watch spoilers before I even watch the movie. But this guy... So his his character that he essentially played... Was, oh, I never had sex before and, like, fuck girls. And he's a dickhead to girls. Dickhead to girls. And as a character, most likely not a character is just him. Yes. He he just, like... So that's what people know him him for. I mean, on Twitch, that did well because, you know, some of it was, like, clever and witty and stuff. And like played to the incels of twitch well twitch is such a man <laughs> yeah it's a man rule yeah and them seeing like any girl get shit on on twitch that gives like these incels like a fucking throbbing heart on yeah <laughs> like so much mm-hmm. and uh he like met this one girl at twitchcon made her uncomfortable there was a twitch clip that went viral because of it because of like the way that he talked to her and she just like her awkward like response to it but, so he did but, an IRL stream where he interacted with a, one of his Twitch fans. Not a Twitch, she was another streamer. She was another streamer. Yeah. And then it, the twi- the one clip went viral of him just making her uncomfortable pretty much. by being him. Yeah. But she even said like it was so her playing they, her playing into it. She did like the guy so and then thought they started he was garner a relationship. Charming. Yes. It so, was just like a little goof, I guess. Yes. And they became buds. And then it turned into them talking a lot online. In turn resulted in him masturbating to this girl even though she like what, would like want to just him? no or like, like on, over on over camera okay. and they'd just be talking about things and it turned into like louis ck and her 
pretty much just she was with it or not with it she didn't like not it. W- she she says that she's not with it but she continuously called them so i don't know she might have still a been true with louis ck yeah. yeah but she might have been because she was talking to him she was yeah. she did like him at the time so yeah. i mean yeah. i'm sure that she wasn't totally opposed to it it wasn't what she wanted to do though yeah, that's a pure louis <laughs> that is a pure louis mm-hmm. uh and then this resulted in them just like on and off talking until one day she like was really desperate and he was like hey i'll fly you out by me um we're going to stream together like that'll be cool and she wanted to like pursue streaming a lot and he was a bigger streamer she, he was like okay yeah that sounds like fun but we're not going to have sex like i don't want to have sex that's or anything. what she said or he yes. said that she said that yeah and he was like and yeah that's, his big that's thing is that he doesn't have sex with girls ever yes that's like his joke on there and then yeah uh she gets over there, they stream together, and it's like him just kind of being a dickhead, and she's like, oh, this is just a persona or whatever. And then it, like, after they finished streaming, kind of continued to the point where uh, he even said that he wasn't going to sleep in bed with her, but he ended up, uh, have like, getting in bed with her anyways mm-hmm. and slept with her. And then she wasn't, she even said that she wasn't even that opposed to that because they had spooned in the pl- past, yeah. and he told her no, or she told him no. And it, like, worked out, and they just ended up spooning or whatever and cuddling. Uh, but this time around, he uh, she graphically details, like, a full-on rape experience that, with so this guy. when he slept there, he just raped her. Yes. Yeah, you don't got to go specifics. Yeah, but, uh, she, but in this twit longer, she, she was very graphic about it. Disgusted pretty much the entire fucking community. Uh, also, I, don't, I don't understand the attraction to rape. I, um... At all. As, like, a... Just as me... Yeah. I just it's not for me yeah. even like on um if I'm watching porn yes and it seems like the girl's just not into it yeah. I, which which is something that me, Bobby makes, Lee really likes it makes me uncomfortable I don't like it either yeah uh, Tom Segura the only thing Tom that I kind of likes when the girls start crying <laughs> yeah <laughs> the, the, the only thing that I kind of like those is like psychos. I like when the stepsister is like ah I'm so pissed that I got to jerk you off. Or <laughs> yeah, well, that's, like those ones. <laughs> well, that's 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 this. It's the um. It's the I. God, I shouldn't be doing this, but I really want to do this. Yeah, I that's don't want to def- do this, but oh, oh, oh. and then they're like, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's yeah. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's what life's about. But the actual the, this hurts. Uh, I'm scared for my life. Yeah, that is crying. Isn't for, <laughs> that isn't for me. Yes, and uh, also this guy was grooming. Or whatever, uh, which is like method. Josh was grooming like uh, sixteen-year-olds and yeah, young well, of women. Of course he was. Yes, of course he was. Yeah. Uh, and then method, who the organization, the method. organization method, who yeah. he was underneath. He raided for their world first team. So while the accusations were happening, and he like, was there was accusations not even of this rape allegation, but there was another one. Yeah, so that we other, don't that hasn't even been released yet. Yeah. We don't know anything about it because there's actual police allegations so, to that. So the brand knew about it. Twitch had banned him off of Twitch. He hasn't been able to stream. On oh, Twitch. so he's been banned off of Twitch for be, about two years now because of accusations of other sexual misconduct yes. before this. Maybe like a year, something like that. And then his organization didn't drop him. They continued to they continued to have him raid with them him. to the point where they would stream World First have voice communications this is a group of how many people 20 people yeah and they'd have voice communications where everybody's talking but his voice would not be played through uh like he was muted because, the if, entire time. because if his voice was played their shit would get they shut would, down they would get shut stream. down and they although they deny it there is a actual clip of them while they're raiding him unmuting talking about the police allegations not only like the fact that like they knew that he was banned. Oh, so Twitch. while while they were doing the world first, he was talking he about why he had unmuted. Unmuted. Yeah, he unmuted and then started like talking to somebody in the guild. I'm guessing. Yeah, to Not, explain the situation yeah. why he had to be muted. Exactly. Yeah, and pretty much talking about the police allegation. So it was known about this. So yeah. And Method has uh, other streamers, like not just like the people in the actual guild. Are those my shorts? No, they're mine. I'm not wearing underwear underneath them, so they're for sure mine. Uh. <laughs> Method has like other streamers, obviously. Uh, Demetrius Johnson, uh, Mighty Mouse, a UFC fighter. Oh, he's under Method? He's underneath Method. Don't know for how much longer because almost all personality streamers right now are leaving. Dipping out. They've already lost like four people. Um, I don't think I've ever heard of Method. I've talked to you about it. I'm sure you have, but I don't don't recall. They're they're just like the best World of Warcraft guild in the world. Fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. They're EU chads, dude. Fuck them. 
fuck them. Other than it, Twitch drama, I saw, uh, I just read that girl streamers are getting sued. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this guy... <laughs> He got they're they're too um men viciously masturbated. Yeah, with flashlights. they're too sexually erotic. Where he every time he watches the streamers, he has to masturbate fuck his flashlight. with his flashlight, and it's causing it's him, not masturbating with the flashlight. It's fucking the flashlight. It's, so Call it what it is. It's causing him. It's intercourse with the flashlight. <laughs> it's causing him <laughs> the intercourse with it's the making flashlight. Making sweet sweet love to that flashlight. It's it's ripping his dick apart <laughs> to the point where he's getting like this sores is, on it. And this is even after hours of foreplay with. Him. <laughs> Like, and he also in the, uh, I read the like it said the uh, the person suing also like his eyes were getting hurt from the straining too much from watching <laughs> the stream for too long. And yeah. now these people it's are getting twenty five million. It's twenty five million is what he's suing for. And Tyler Voss tweeted like James, you should get in on. This that. should be a class action lawsuit. <laughs> yes, because, I think, I, because there should be more people uh, in this, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm not going to say I've talked about it on stream before. Um, during the quarantine. My dick hurt bad. <laughs> Am I going to say it was all this Twitch streamers' faults? Yes, it was all yeah. their faults. Yeah. Um, Get in on the lawsuit. I, I would. <laughs> I, I would honestly say whenever I play World of Warcraft, not Warzone, because I need I need to hear. Everything. You talked about it first. We should have had a bell. Ding, 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 ding. I had. I have at least twelve girl streams up at at all times. I know. <laughs> and I masturbate religiously. I'm not going. I'm not going to coincide, but I definitely never masturbated prior to Twitch, <laughs> ever. And that's a fact. If, I don't know if you should be thanking these girls or suing them. <laughs> I'm suing them. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just be clear. I am suing them. I am suing them. My dick is raw. It hurts. <laughs> it's real bad. This is your fault. And it sucks because that guy. He might not like. We went from really praising women and saying how terrible it is to be a woman to blaming them for your <laughs> masturbation. Be- because that guy, I don't know what he does with his flashlight. He might be fucking that shit raw. Me, I eat out my flashlight for about two hours before I have sex with it. Like you should. <laughs> like you should. Like you should. And I never pull out and I never use a condom with this. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And uh, yeah, it it fucking hurts, dude. It fucking hurts. I was at. I can't get boners anymore. I was at Walmart. Mm-hmm. And this Walmart employee... What happened at Walmart? Um, ...was talking to me. And Girl or guy? He was a guy. Mm-hmm. And he was like, hey, man, how you, how you do that so fast? Like, does... Because he was stocking shelves. Mm-hmm. He's like, do you... um, Does it get easier? And I was like, if I'm being honest, like, it kind of gets harder and harder. Each day just feels longer. And, like, <laughs> this, like... It I don't fe- even want to be here anymore. It feels like this mountain that I'm never going to climb up and, like... The dread of like going to work every day really fucking sucks. <laughs> what you should have really done is taken one of your AirPods out, put it in his ear, and played Miley Cyrus's "The Climb." <laughs> <laughs> and you really like. I told him like you. No, I just, it really never feels I like you'll get, uh, get to the top. And, uh, it's waiting on the other side. And he said, "Um, it's climb." He's like, "No, I was talking like physically. Does it get easier?" <laughs> And I was like, oh, yeah, that gets easier. <laughs> gets easier. Uh, just the idea of you, even if it was, like, not an AirPod, that'd be even funnier. Like, if it was, like, a corded earbud where you had to stand close to him and put it in his ear and you pull out an iPad. I just listen to the song every day. You've got an iPod that only has Miley Cyrus songs and you got to scroll back up to the top to play the climb. <laughs> And you guys just listen to that in full, standing three minutes and 40 seconds. I show them the Spotify playlist. It's just every song is the climb on it. Yeah. You, and you stand there looking straight ahead, crying, both of you, thinking about Miley Cyrus's climb um, and how a, it relates to stock We have a little baby birthday party we got to get to this week. Yeah, it's just going to be dope. Last year, we both spent $100 on them. This year, we're spending $200 each. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it gets exponentially. I do not look forward to him turning 40. I know. I'm gonna have to get him like a Xbox 370. Dude, I'm gonna have to buy him a house. I mean, oh, at that right, point. that's true. What uh, what should I buy this kid? We have to go. Let's buy him really girly gifts, <laughs> like just straight up Barbies. Do you think so? Yeah, Barbies are not cheap, right? They're not like twenty. A Barbie dollhouse is like 160 bucks. Okay, well, we can each get one one. Okay. Okay, fine. No, you buy the you buy the car. I'll buy the house. Um. 
But yeah, you so, know, so last year we got on the authentic Buzz and Woody. Yes, I had s- seen a couple times in Target a um, fucking uh, what's the horse's name? Bullseye, Bullseye, and Wendy. Yeah, they had authentic ones of those as well. They were seventy percent less. They were a lot less. <laughs> yeah. No, they were the exact same. They're still really? like they're still the same those, prices. Ah, dude, bullseye fucking sucks. But the, so you know what? I think they made significantly less of them because I can't find them anymore. But here's the thing: I you, really wanted to get bullseye. Them. Like can't stand up, right? Bullseye. Yeah, he could because like he's got like flimsy legs. He's essentially well, Woody can't stand either. Yeah, he had to put like the stand with him. Which which I prefer that, right? Yeah. But also at the same time, it's a shitty toy. Thinking about it, like, thinking of it logistically, right? Yeah, well, Buzz Lightyear is the better toy. Yes, for, for yeah. sure. Of course. That's, a, like, that's the whole point of the Toy Story in the first movie. Yes, I get that, right? But yeah. Bullseye fucking sucks, too. It's a horse that doesn't stand it, yeah, up. Yeah, but the fucking, the, in the 60s. I'm fine with the guy not standing up. In the up. 60s, it was a good toy. I'm fine. Okay, that's fine. But I'm fine with an action figure not being able to stand up. But, like, dude, I can buy a plastic You're a horse. You're fucking idiot. <laughs> I can buy a plastic fucking horse. Not and a, dude, I can put Woody on anything, right? Woody can sit on things, but what if your horse can't sit on? Th- like a horse can't sit on things. That's not logical. So right. I'm going to have to sit both of these things onto a plastic All toy. Right, you're a genius. Is I that know. What you want, what yes. Say? Yes. Which Toy Story is your favorite? Toy Story one. Really? Yes. Over three. Yes. I like three a lot. Toy Story three. You see four. Yes. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It was Did funny. We, see, we saw it together. We saw it together. Toy Story three. Very sad. But I, I, the LG is just really good. It's uh, the most nostalgic. And I don't think that it had... Uh, I don't think that it was... F- I don't think, as a movie, 3 is a little bit better. Did you grow up watching Disney Channel? No. All right, keep going. No, I only watch Raven Simone. Just that's, Raven Simone? Just that's Just one. that's a Raven? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's the only one? That's the only one. But that's oh, the only uh, good show. Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> I just had a vision. I just had a vision. Yeah, that shit's good. That guy's Corey crazy. Corey in the now. house was the fucking shit, though. Oh, you're talking... What? Orlando? Yeah, Orlando Bloom. Orlando Bloom. <laughs> that's his name. Yeah. No. It Orlando is. Bloom is the naked guy standing behind Kerry, Kitty Perry. No, that's Orlando Blue. Wait, Orlando Blue is... <laughs> no, Orlando... Bl- they're the fucking... What's their names? It's Orlando B-L-U-E. No, I'm pretty sure... Orlando Bloom is Legolas. Yes. But Orlando Blue is him. B-L-E-U. No, it's it's not... A, yeah, it's Orlando that, Blue. No, that's the guy from fucking High School Musical. No. Orlando Brown. Orlando Brown? Yeah, why is Manfred calling me? Ha, ignore him. <laughs> Obviously. Or answer it, I no, guess. I answer you want to talk about it? No, you don't, I'll, I'll let it go. You don't want him to go on this? Yeah, I can. Why not? Hey, what's up, Manfred? You're on the podcast. You're on the podcast. What's up? Hey. Hey, what's up? Um. Well, our uh, Brandon's proposing to Sabrina. You want to come to that? Oh shit! What is that? Saturday. Saturday, six p.m. Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. What What are you saying? Who's, who, who are you talking That's to, JP? JP? Is that Anthony? Henry right now. Oh, Henry? And he wanted to, he was going to invite you guys both to the Olympics, but I think the Henry Jack deal. Henry, the Henry style of the Olympics. Oh, shit. So yeah. All right, we should probably cut this. Well, well I haven't, I haven't drinking in four scores, but yeah, if, well, if, if you want, if, into a conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, we got to go though. We're, we're middle of podcast, but uh, say, say bye to the podcast, my friend. Hey, podcast. <laughs> See, I right, get rid of this kid. Uh, yeah, that was delightful. But yeah, or, did he call or, me? Orlando Brown. No, he, he wasn't. Just like, called you. Yeah, obviously. What? Orlando Brown. Uh, that guy's crazy. Is that crazy his name, now. Orlando Brown? Yeah, that guy's crazy now. I, I knew it was fucking something. Dude, like he that. talked talks about eating Raven Simone's pussy all the time. Yeah, he he fucking he says the n word on. Uh, that's a Raven. Does he? Yeah, I saw a fucking clip of it. He snuck it in it. Oh yeah 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 yeah. He's him him or Raven stuck. No, it, it was it was him. He and Dude, like, that guy, and it didn't get sent. It just went on, and it's <laughs> just on the Disney Channel. Yeah, that's nuts. That guy went crazy. Uh, he just did a lot of fucking drugs, yes. and he tried to be a rapper, obviously, because yeah. that's what happens. Yeah, when you fail at Disney Channel, you tried. 
you or succeed, you just go straight for a music career mm-hmm. rather yes. than rather than acting. <laughs> which which I don't get, right? That's why very good point. why do none of them try to go to the big screen? The Jonas Brothers. It's is Zac Efron. Uh huh. You trying to talk shit on Zac True, Efron? True, Zac Efron. And uh, but no, what was he on? He wasn't on Disney Channel. High School Musical. The movie. Yeah, that was yeah, okay. But that's it a went movie. Straight to the fucking. Yes, he's. That's a movie still. I don't count that. Yeah, I'm why ta- not? I'm talking like the I'm, first two movies were only on Disney Channel. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. But that, those were already movies. He was in a movie. Ashley but the, Tisdale but these, was in that movie. She was also on Disney Channel. Sweet Life is Acting Cody. Yeah, but didn't pursue. Okay. All I'm saying is that these people. Okay, Ashley Tisdale is probably the best example. But all these people, rather than... Brenda like, Song. Yeah, Brenda Song also does sometimes. But I'm Acting. talking about, like, Most Raven, okay. Raven Simone. Why is Raven Simone... A singer? Ne- like, yeah, she went for singing. Selena Gomez. Uh, Miley I'll, Cyrus. I'll help you. Selena Gomez. Selena Lemmy, Go- the Lemmy Vado. Demi Lovato. <laughs> Demi Lovato. <laughs> Demi Lovato. Uh, Miley Cyrus. The Jonas Brothers. Um, s- fuck Justin you. Timberlake. Britney Spears. Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande is Nickelodeon. Good try. Same thing. Victorious. Come on, dog. Same shit. But, when you need but, facts, but, but, yeah. come to the big dog. <laughs> but it's so crazy. Why do these guys, like, why Why is their first thing, like, I'm going to well, act, you, you I'm going what, act on this TV show? You know what they do, right? Mm. So Disney Channel. They just look for talented young. They send out shit across the country just looking for young kids. Talent. And then they groom. And it's just, it's them. literally just talent, right? They've been doing it since JT and fucking Britney. Yeah. And they're making it mouse clubhouse. That should have, JT has been fucking in town. Dude, and even fucking um, Barney used to fucking have people. Like bangers on it, oh, Selena Gomez. Selena I Gomez think was, was yeah. on. The, yeah, I think some other dude was on there too. I don't know. Did we just miss our chance to be incredibly famous? We just needed our parents to just whore us out. That that's I get mad about that every single day because <laughs> Do you? because as long as my kid doesn't come out ugly, which there's like a 50-50 chance. If my kid is <laughs> seventy twenty five, <laughs> well, because I'm not going to feed that kid much. Okay. Make sure to keep it skinny. Well, that's good and good looking. That's smart. <laughs> and I'm going to whore that kid up. And he will be cut. He, oh, come on! Yeah. Are you kidding me? The kid at ten will be benching three fifteen for reps. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. facts. But yeah, I mean, you just need to get them into the fucking town. Literally, that's it. You just got to send them out there. Yeah. You're telling me with my fucking laser rocket arm, I, dude. I was six years old throwing at fucking seventy yards. And then you have to start like I was throwing seventy to yards. Get back to molestation. You just have to like we know what it's about. Yeah. Go ahead, take him. <laughs> take him. You can have it. Um, you will get molested, but you'll, you'll be, be famous. famous. Yeah. And really, what matters in this life besides that? I Nothing. Did. Not much. Not much. Not much. But uh, yeah, Orlando Brown, crazy. Uh, what were we Who's Orla- about or- Orlando Bloom and Blue? Orlando Blue is from High School Musical. That's I cor- told you, Corbin Blue. Corbin Blue. God, that's who it is. Yeah, it sounds like a sandwich. Corbin Blue. It yeah. kind of does. Cordon Blue. That's not a sandwich. Chicken cordon bleu. You just made that up. I don't know what the, what it is, but I always used to... You ever to, see the Corbin Blue movie? I don't even know what a, a chicken cordon bleu is, but I always used to see it in like um, the lunch menu. Like That's what like we'd have for lunch. That's made up. And I'd go, you know what? That's not what I want. Just give me a chicken sandwich. So you just saw it every day and never got All it. the time, dude. Like so much. Corbin he, Blue had a, a jump rope movie. You remember that? He was like a boxer, but then he, yes. he competitively jump roped. In the middle of it or yeah, something? Yeah, I do remember that he tried to have his little spinoff. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <laughs> it's just such a weird spinoff to have. Like, <laughs> All right, Corbin, uh, here's the premise. Hey, we get it. You can sing, right? Well, let's test your jump rope. Can you jump? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We know that you can play basketball and sing, but here's the true test. <laughs> can you jump rope? <laughs> How quickly do you think he signed? Not Immediately. Do, it. do you think he had like the sequels down? I, this is what I think that they so Disney Channel goes up to him hey Chicken Cordon Blue, we gotta pitch something to you Chicken Cordon Blue, <laughs> that's my name he goes how do you know that Corbin Blue was short for that <laughs> and then they have this pitch meeting and they go if it's hula hooping I'm not in <laughs> no 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 no, no it's not hula hooping the producer Goes, they're sitting across a long, long table. Yeah. I goes know. underneath the table, grabs the jump rope, <laughs> <laughs> slides, slides it, it down. He <laughs> catches it with his left hand, not even looking. He grabs it with one hand, <laughs> starts spinning it on the side, and jumps <laughs> up out of his chair, starts jump roping. And they were like, We knew you were it. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, Did my dream just come true? <laughs> and they go, 
yes, it's time to stop living in Zac Efron's Ooh. shadow. Yeah, that's a very good point. <laughs> and jump over him. <laughs> Damn. I didn't even see that joke there. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude! You got me. You got me. I would. I gotta make the sequels. I've been watching George Carlin. Holy <laughs> shit! That's from Georgie himself. That's from George Carlin. Damn. He wrote. He wrote that in two thousand eight, right before he died. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. You just learned about him, huh? No, I've known about George Carlin for a long time. It's just that I haven't watched any of his specials. Yeah, I haven't up. either. I, I started watching him. He hates religion. Yeah. Did you know this? Yeah. <laughs> Half of his jokes are just about, like, how stupid the Bible is. How Half his jokes in the fucking end of it is just him talking <laughs> and the crowd going, place. like, <laughs> that's <laughs> all. Nobody laughs. Everybody just cheers him on. Yeah. That's, I mean, but that's also, like, I mean, it's a mix. Because people do the same thing for Dave Chappelle. But, yeah, like, but then at the same time, that guy is like, he'll say some shit that just really makes you cry of laughter. Rewatch the Dave Chappelle stand ups, and they just like, they stand the test of time. I'm going to say, and it. I've George never, Chappell, uh, Dave Chappelle overrated, George Carlin overrated, fuck them. Don't care. Yeah, they suck. I'm not watching anybody except for fucking Pat and Oswald. And that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's you, good. You, you're telling me. <laughs> here's the thing. I've watched Dave Chappelle a lot, right? Chappelle show is cool. But King of Queens? <laughs> <laughs> Pat and Oswald's favorite show. <laughs> Pat and Oswald's number one show, King of Queens. <laughs> yeah. That guy's sick in that. That guy's so God. good. What else is Pat and Oswald in? Zookeeper? <laughs> Pat Oswalt is also in fucking uh, Paul Blart Mall Mal- <laughs> Cop. The Happening. Fun fact: I'm glad you like. I made the comparison of Paul uh, with the Pat Oswalt to Dave Chappelle. <laughs> they started both in DC. Yes. Both on the same day. Yeah. Uh, no, not same day. Same? He, start, he started a week before him. Or Did something. he? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. it's in his uh, Mark Twain. Oh, is it? Yeah. He he ties it in the. Dave cellar. Chappelle does. Yeah, Dave Chappelle goes. Er. Somebody went along the lines of like, uh, you know, some people, everybody gets bad, up there. It's bad their first it's time. It's bad their first time. And Patton is like, well, actually, okay, Dave Chappelle was not bad his <laughs> Dave, first time. Dave Chappelle was good his first time. Yeah. <laughs> but then Dave Chappelle goes on to say, but they like to bring up the first time, but they forget about the nine other times after that where I was just complete garbage. It must be nice to have that first good one. Yes. Because I've had plenty of bad ones. Because that'll give you just so much confidence. I haven't got one good Well, that's one. how it's going to be for me. Just immediately <laughs> good? I'm going to go up there. I'm not even going... I'm going to remove the mic. Act like I'm about to, like, grab it. But I just fumble. And, it, and everybody goes... <laughs> Before I even tell a joke. So it's going to start off great. Is that the greatest? <laughs> is he the, did we just see greatness? <laughs> did we just... Girl in the front row just crying. Like, oh not God. even laughing. Just crying of pure joy. Watching me do this little fumbling act. <laughs> and me nailing it. Just perfectly. That just happens to be talent. It's ghost. <laughs> yes. get, on, get on the show now. Sign him. Sign him. Hey guys, I haven't even told the joke yet, and I say that, and they think that's hilarious. They're like, oh, oh my god! You hear this guy? It's just them laughing at everything I say, but in all reality, it's just a anti-Semitic rant. <laughs> <laughs> Me reading Real Mein Kampf. bigoted, sexist rant. Yeah. Have you ever read Mein Kampf? No, I uh, I actually so like this guy was being fucking uh, pretty nuts on fucking. Discord the other day. I was like, yeah, why don't you, you just go? You can get through a podcast without swearing. No. Okay, keep going. <laughs> I go, just why don't you read Mein Kampf or whatever? He goes, no, Mein Kampf isn't that good of a read if you're not from Germany. <laughs> and I go, I, I guess because it's just about like German German, German nationalism and oh, stuff like that. Cool. So it's like, well, he might have a point then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't read it. I also, I mean, I am fluent in German, but I wouldn't read anything in German. Germans sound very angry. If you could speak one language, what would it be? Uh, <laughs> God. Um, uh, Spanish, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the gayest fucking shit. I was going to go like... <laughs> <laughs> you tell me, bud. <laughs> 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 Just 
do that. What a noise. You can tell me what I can speak. <laughs> but I'm asking you, what can you be fluent in? And you, you just speak a fluent sentence to me? <laughs> That's why I was laughing at first. I wasn't going to do it, but... There. <laughs> there it is. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I don't know Spanish. That's the fucking answer that you gave me when you had that fucking masterpiece yeah, in your in back my, pocket. I had that in my head. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. You pull out a samurai sword. <laughs> How do you know it was Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I heard it from a mile away. Oh man, that's good. Well, I th- we, what, we got 15 minutes left? We can cut it. <laughs> We're done. We can end there. Yeah, I mean, we peaked already. That's for sure. Um, I was watching... Try to title this video, the uh, Sabrina you're getting proposed to today. Yeah. Do you want it to be that? No, I don't think so. Why I, not? I, let's put it as, like, will you marry me? Did you ask our friend if... No. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do that. Well... <laughs> <laughs> well, we might have to botch this Oops. podcast. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which is even worse when I say it while I'm <laughs> <laughs> You really like it. <laughs> which is even worse when I say it when I'm laughing because I look so Asian when I'm laughing. Um, uh, for whatever reason, Asian people are the last race you can make fun of. Yeah. it's People don't care. I mean, people do care, but like, <laughs> oh, I was watching, for whatever reason, they don't. I don't I t- know. I texted you something today. Yeah. Uh, I love in general when Milwaukee gets shout outs. Oh, me too. Which, which Tom Segura and Burt Kreischer actually give Milwaukee and well, Wisconsin. Well, Tom grew up in Milwaukee for a little bit. Oh, yeah. True, true. Yeah. <laughs> but that's really funny uh, that him and Burt kind of give like Wisconsin shout outs and stuff, mm-hmm. which is dope. Uh, but they were yeah, talking Bill about versus Milwaukee's his favorite city. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, no, he doesn't say Milwaukee. He says uh, Milwaukee's up, right up. Milwaukee's up there because he likes the. He likes Milwaukee, but I think that he said like Kenosha t- or something. What's the hotel? Um, the Fister. Yeah, he loves the Fister. And when uh, when global warming goes, you want to move to Milwaukee because they have all that fucking that we have the Great Lakes, and that'll yep. just keep us naturally cooler comparatively to like. Oh yeah. That's that was just a burr. Um, uh. But in in his uh, Hot Ones interview, he uh, he goes on and he goes, yeah, Steven Seagal is just like the one person that like nobody um, talks shit about behind their back. They just blatantly make fun of him. <laughs> yeah. And everybody does it. And I guess like he's doing like 700 uh, action movies in like seven years or something. Wait, <laughs> now? <laughs> yeah, Steven Seagal has cool. been trying to do that. I didn't know that. He's just trying to do a bunch of- So 100 a year? <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. This guy's just doing a bunch of action hey, movies. movies take like a month to make each. <laughs> yeah, not for him. So you got to crank like a couple out each week? Well, he can use like, he does a couple moves. That's like two a fucking week. <laughs> That's the rate he has to go. And, and think with about like Steven, with two weeks off. And that guy cannot even move from set to set. It probably takes him a month to go from set to set because he's so fucking large. He has to crank out every three days a movie. <laughs> <laughs> to make that rate, this is that's not a real number. Yeah, that's fake. Um, Bert just or er, fucking Tommy, Tom Segura, Tommy boy, yeah, Tommy boy, uh, Tommy butts. He he just uh, he's making that up or whatever, just like exaggerating it. He goes, and these action movies fucking suck. Like he's fighting people in like wheelchairs because he's three hundred pounds. Oh man! And and they're trying to they're trying to play it off like he's fighting in Afghanistan, but you're really just fighting in Milwaukee. Like I see where the Brewers play <laughs> right behind you. I did not see that. How I have to watch which, it, which which is really goofy. <laughs> <laughs> I just learned sick, sick shout out to um, Milwaukee. If we're, if we're doing a little Milwaukee dick sucking, oh, uh, I was God. watching Red Letter <sighs> Red Letter Media, also the Milwaukee. Uh, YouTubers, Ooh. they're fantastic. They suck. They're the best video. Re- Only uh, Donkey. They're the best uh, movie reviewers on the internet. No. Yeah, yeah, they are. They just did Star Wars really well, or whatever. No, even current. Just Star Half Wars. Half of the bag. Every time a new movie comes out, they have usually. But then they do that stupid skit at the front. Just skip it. It's like maybe a minute. <laughs> That's too much. Anyway, I can't, I can't even watch Always Sunny. They were doing. Um, they can only watch. They clips. have this series called Review. Which uh, they just go back to old movies and they review it. Mm-hmm. And they were watching Willy Wonka uh, in the Chocolate Factory. 
Willy Wonka or Charlie and the Chocolate? Willy Wonka and the Chocolate. So the OG one with Gene Wilder. Yes. I did not know that Gene Wilder grew up in West Dallas. Yes. I had no idea. He's a... Yeah. I had not a clue. I, you know that I was actually... So uh, a while back, I was out at the bar or whatever, and I ran into our like drama teacher at you our high school. ran into Gene Wilder. <laughs> I ran into Gene Wilder, who is dead. <laughs> which somebody was just dragging around his corpse, God, which was really weird. That was the craziest one to me, because literally, I, the day before he died, mm-hmm. I was like... I was like, oh fucking! I love uh, um, the song, the opening song to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when he like they get into uh, World of Pure Imagination. I was like, I gotta just fucking listen to that song. Died yes. the next day. That's so nice. so cr- I don't. It's I such also a random. I want to talk about Gene Wilder yeah. a lot. Actually, there's a lot that I can talk. He ran about. into a music teacher. Ran into a music slash drama teacher At of our bar. high school. Um, he goes on to like talk up one of our friends who we're really good with, or like good friends with. And, like, says that she's super amazing and was always underrated. But they never saw eye to eye and didn't like each other. Blah, blah, blah. But he was there with another person that he, like, acts with or whatever or does, like, plays with. a friend of his. A friend of his, yes. And, uh, you know, our buddy Brandon, like, got him into the talks of comedy. Just to, like, you know, because at the time, you and I, like, were talking to him a lot about comedy. And he, he enjoyed talking about it. So, Brandon got them onto it. And then Brandon was like, yeah, what's your guy's favorite uh, comedian? comedian? And one of them goes, Gene Wilder. And I was like, huh. Yeah, that's just the... It, I was Gene like, Wilder's great. Great comedic yeah. actor. Fantastic movies. Yes. I think he has... I've only seen... Um, I literally think I've only seen Willy Wonka the Chocolate Factory. Me too. But I think he has... A, it's, it might be Little Frankenstein's or it's Young Frankenstein. I he, don't know. He's in a few things. Ob- he's in a lot of things. Obviously, he's fucking. Yes. But when you think of comedian, you obviously think of a man yes. standing behind a mic and talking to an audience. Yes. That's just like. Not things that are written for them. And especially back then, there was probably very little improv. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. It's back, it's to th- back then. Cause, I mean, because like. Dude, the, the biggest fucking actor back in the day didn't even talk and wore a top hat and looked like Charlie fucking Chaplin. Hitler. <laughs> Like, dude, Hitler was our biggest fucking actor. Like, anybody in that era, like, boomers, fuck off. Like, you guys don't know shit, <laughs> They dude. didn't grow up watching him. Dude, yeah. That's that's the... Anybody over 28, fuck you, you're a boomer. And I don't give a shit about what you say about acting, comedians, or anything. You guys are <laughs> so stupid. If you're 29, you are, <laughs> if you're you are 20, a baby boomer. You're a boomer. <laughs> and you probably like Charlie Chaplin and Hitler. <laughs> fuck out of here. Hey, we've said it here. Um... But follow up to that, uh, the other day, uh, go upstairs to eat dinner um, in the living room with my nieces, and uh, my my older niece she uh, picks Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. Oh, and I go, oh, I don't even say anything. I actually didn't even like go Ugh, or anything like that. She goes, yeah, this is just the best one. The Whoa. other one's really bad. And it, it it infuriated me. It made me more so mad. I punched my fucking niece in the <laughs> face. And what? The glass I don't think hurt that much because I threw her so quickly. Yeah. So I threw her out the window. Well, at least you got it done fast. Yes. Um. But no, it actually infuriated me so much with this nine year old girl. I was like, Why? What was her opinion? She goes. She goes. It's just way better, Johnny. I love Johnny Depp. And I go. Oh, yeah, I like Johnny Depp too. I go. Yeah, that. Johnny Depp's good, but this movie sucks bad. And yeah. I, I. This is exactly how I said it. I said Johnny Depp is really bad in this in this movie, and this movie sucks. It's very terribly directed. And I said Tim Burton doesn't make any good movies except for um, Beetlejuice, 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 and uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, no. Fucking he meant Nightmare that. Before Christmas. Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, <laughs> all, uh, Edward Scissorhands. Anything Dog before shit. the 90s. Uh, he also had fucking... Um, he has a couple Johnny Depp movies that are actually good. I don't know. That 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 movie he, sucks he in has, particular. His Batman movie is good. That dog shit. With, you know, Batman? Yeah. Keanu fuck, Reeves. No. Uh, Keaton. Michael Keaton. Well, Keaton. Gilmer. Val Kilmer. <laughs> um, but I, and then I go on and she goes, well, why don't you like it? I said, uh, Johnny Depp's uncharismatic. Uh, the movie is very oddly directed. I, and I'm talking to the nine year old like this. I go, the movie in general just always has a creepy vibe to it. And which is they, the red letter media guys brought this up in their review. But when you watch the, um, what's, what's fun about watching the original Willy Wonka is mm-hmm. that you see, 
the normal world. Yes. Um, it's just a normal world. It's like yes. it could be anything. It's not over. So when like you get is. into the chocolate factory and it's like this wondrous place, it's such like a stark difference, and you just see the contrast of like what really wants. That's could a good be. point. And it's like just like, but when you have Charlie in the chocolate factory, everything is just wacky. So yes. there's no like, and it's not even a musical or anything anymore. It, there's yeah. no singing in it. There's like the oompa loom, and that's it. But there's no. I've got a golden ticket. There's a they, like when he got the like the even Oompa when Loompas I, play random songs, they still sing songs. Yeah, they're like dog shit though. Yeah, the the, the, the songs aren't good. The songs aren't good. They're all different genres of music. This is how good uh, the music is. Is that when he got the golden ticket in this shitty ass movie, which that actor actually grew up to be a pretty good actor. I'm pretty sure Ooh. Charlie. Did he? Yeah. I, I don't even know who he is. I, he's in other movies since. Wait a second. He, is he in fucking Mad Max Fury Road? <laughs> <laughs> he is Tom Hardy. No, no, no. No, he actually is Tom, is is Tom Hardy. Is he fucking the... Is he, is he Tom Hardy? Yes. No, is he Beast in fucking X-Men Origins? Yeah, I think so. Is that him? I think so. Is that that guy? What the fuck? No, he's uh the good doctor. The good doctor? What the fuck are you talking about? Show me this kid. The good doctor. Show me. His name's Freddie Highmore. I gotta fucking see. Oh, I don't know who this fucking kid is. He's not a good actor. I mean, he's in he's in the Good Doctor. Let me show me. He's in the Good Doctor. Why? Why? Show me the shit he's in. He's in nothing. This guy's Finding fucking, Neverland. This guy's fake. This yeah, guy's but a he, trash he's in. Actor. He didn't I mean, grow up to be anything. He's yeah, fucking but nothing. the Good Doctor's. I thought he was Tom Hardy. The Good Doctor's a like move or is, show that people watch. What is the Good Doctor? What is the I don't know. Doctor? It's about like I think a guy with like uh, Asperger's or autism. He's a really young doctor. Fuck that. He's a fake ass piece of shit. Do you know where actually I've seen only clips from The Good Doctor? No. Facebook. When they do the thing where they play like the music behind it and they're like, you need a doctor like this. And it's like him. And it's him in it? Yeah. Man, fuck that movie. <laughs> that show. Um, but the songs are so good that when he got the golden ticket, I immediately like out loud. Started going, I've got a golden ticket. And yeah. I'm a phenomenal singer, so I brought it to your eye. To my... Are you talking about Grandpa Joe when he gets it? Because Grandpa uh-huh. Joe's an asshole. Charlie, gets, yeah, he's Charlie gets the ticket, and Grandpa Joe starts talking about how it's his golden ticket. Yeah. Grandpa Joe fucking sucks in, yeah. in both of them. And Grandpa Joe in... Like, Charlie does nothing wrong, and Grandpa Joe always convinces him to do the wrong thing. Yes. He, he takes the bubble, bubbly liquid shit um, yes. that makes him flow up. He, he's like, come on, Charlie, we're going to sell this shit to fucking Slughorn. Yeah, he's just a bad... You know that movie, um, when... So, the director of it never directed any regular movie. He was a, he did documentaries. Okay. So, he just... That's why that movie is shot like that, because it's it's sort of shot like a documentary. Mm-hmm. He only made it because his, his daughter it. liked the book. And he was like, okay, this has to be musical. So... We he gave it to a composer. He was like, "Hey, just write these songs about it." We don't have a movie, but we're just gonna have these songs. So all the songs were written before the movie was even shot. And when they got to the scene, they just sing this song. Dun, dun, dun. So dun, like dun, dun. that movie, dun, 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 and also Gene dun, dun, Gene Wilder dun, dun. Um, really made that movie. Uh, he he was like, "The only way I'm gonna play this is if I can act." Um, very Full sar- creative. Well, Control. very sarcastically in a way where you're never quite sure, like, if I'm being serious or if I'm See, and Johnny, if I'm crazy or not. Johnny Depp did it weird. in such a weird way. He's just weird. He's yeah, just like, it's creepy. Whereas, like, you see glimpses of him, like, of yeah, Gene Wilder. Gene being Wilder is hilarious creep- in like, that movie. Like, he, he does that, like, where, he, where they're going and rowing. And, like, that actually used to scare me as a kid. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? And then it just, like, got back to him. Or if like, the kids are doing something dangerous um, and everybody knows that it's dangerous, he'll go, like, no, quick, stop. Like, he'll just, like, <laughs> no, don't do that. I got to rewatch it. It's, it's a great been, movie. It's been so long. And it was one. It, I really liked that movie. Yeah. He, um, the per- yeah. I'd say it's pretty much a perfect movie. I hate that those those are certain movies that shouldn't be touched. And I don't say that often. I, I like remasters and like... You like remakes? Remakes. and uh, sometimes remakes. Sometimes. I'm, I'm not fully... I'll, sh- I'll gonna, give you another one. I'm not Back fully, to the Future should never be remade. Yeah. Um, I mean, Wizard of Oz should have never been like touched. With it the hasn't been, has it? Yeah, they had the one with fucking uh, James Franco. Oh, who's, who's seen that movie? Me. Was it good? No. It's better than the original. No. 
The originals. You don't like the original? I've never seen it. Get the fuck out of here. I'm kidding. Of course I have. It's very good. Yeah, obviously. My, it's, good. it's my dad's favorite movie. Didn't the, uh, the actress, it's your dad's favorite movie? Mm-hmm. Fucking snooze alert. Have you ever <laughs> seen Goodfellas? <sighs> He's never seen Goodfellas. I was fucking, I could not think of Goodfellas, which is surprising, right? <laughs> <laughs> I could not think of, I was talking to my Yeah, bo- normally you're just like right there. I was talking to my boss today, because I always try to like suggest him to watch movies, because he like... He likes movies, but he just never puts aside time to watch them because he's always working. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, you know that there's like a new Martin, like a newish Martin Scorsese movie out, right? And he goes, really? Another another like mob movie because he loves mob movies. I was like, yeah, I, the yeah. Irishman. I was like, the Irishman's out. He was like, I've never seen it. And I was like, but it's pretty good. I hear it's it's pretty good. And uh, he goes, oh, I just really loved Goodfellas. He couldn't think of the name. He couldn't either. think of Goodfellas. No, neither of you guys could. No, I was like, yeah, it starts with like them opening up the trunk, and you know, every sure. uh, I've always known I've wanted to be a gangster. Yeah, and then he shuts the trunk, and dun, 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 dun. I've never seen that movie fully through. We're done. <laughs> Snooze alert. Are you an idiot? Dun, dun, dun. In a world of pure imagination, right. Sabrina, Brandon. will you marry my friend Brandon? <laughs>